following segment is sponsored by the Utah Pork Producers Association. Well, the new year is the time for new beginnings and new health goals. Allison is here to share how you can involve pork in your healthy eating choices. Welcome to the show, Allison. It's great to see you. Thank you. Thanks for having me here. Absolutely. This is a cool, cool conversation, cool topic. Tell me about some popular pork dishes for family parties and football parties. This is a big topic. Well, family parties, you know, everyone loves comfort food and everybody, how can you not love like tabletop nachos? <laughs> it's the That's, best, right? I mean, it's the great. It's the best. And what I really love is when you can do either the loin and do little sandwiches like those little sliders because you can eat not just one, you keep going. Or you can even do your pulled pork and have your sliders. Lots of different things you can do. Delicious pork. That's great suggestions. And you've been executive director of the organization, so you have all the recipes for sure. We try. Can, can you share with us, this is interesting to me, mm -hmm. how pork can help with New Year's resolutions when it comes to healthy eating? Well, anytime we hear the word loin, we also think of lean. So loin equals lean. Okay. And there are several cuts that have been given the check mark by the American Heart Association. So when you think about eating pork and eating healthy, try to eat is what's going to fit in the palm of your hand. Not piled high in the palm of your hand, but just on the palm of your hand, a three ounce serving. And that's going to be, you know, to help with your eating goals. That's a great suggestion. I never, never thought and about protein. that. And protein. It's a great source of protein. And protein is what you need to keep your body going. You have a lot of programs going on with the organization. And you have a youth pork ambassador program that the Utah Pork Producers sponsor. Can you tell me about this? Sure. It's our scholarship program. And each year we pick between five and seven students in many year of the years between junior and high school to junior and college. And they attend events, they write essays, they read leadership books. So it's like a leadership program. And at the end of the year, they receive $2,500 towards their college. No kidding. And the um, deadline is going to be January 31st for the application process for 2024. Okay. So we're, we're always welcoming more applicants. Times of the essence. Get involved for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and there are a lot of pork producers right here in Utah. How many oh. head are we talking? We have a lot of producers here. They range from commercial, independent, 4-H, um, show hog, um, even just backyard farms. But overall in Utah, we raise 500,000 pigs wow. today. Yeah. Wow. And as executive director, the Utah Pork Producers Association, you're a very busy lady. I am, and one of my favorite things to do is get to go to the farms and visit with the producers and just see how hard they work. And they don't just work hard for their family. It's for all of us to bring that delicious food to the table. Great people, great food for sure. Where can That's we great. go for more information about all this? Uh, UtahPortProducers.org, and under the Consumers tab, you'll specifically find the application for the ambassador. But just UtahPortProducers.org, and it will link you to recipes and anything you need to know. That's a great opportunity. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming on the show, Thank Allison. You. It's, it's great, great to, to see here. you again. Thank Safe you. travels and good luck. Remember, what was the saying? Keep pork on your fork. Keep pork on the fork. There That's you go. Right. Thanks, Thanks again, Allison. Thanks a lot.